Hello my friends, this is Budrich and this is a new episode of Let's Linux. I call this one Extreme i3. Extreme i3, yeah, 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 yeah. What's so extreme about your i3? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you some cool stuff. I'm very excited about this, uh, making this video. Almost a bit too excited because I maybe should have waited a bit, tested this thing a bit more before I showed you. But whatever. I'm. I really wanted to make a video now. Uh, I have made a script here. This is uh, Sublime. Uh, at the top here we have a polybar. It's uh, a status bar that you can use for, uh, with different window managers and. Um, the window manager is of course i3 this window fills up the whole screen often called maximized in um, many window managers here it's uh, uh, when you're using a tile window manager it's called monocle mode or yeah just a tile container that fills up the whole screen nothing special about that but my script here it um, yeah let, let's do this let's open up all four containers. I call the script, by the way, fyra, which is the Swedish word for four, the number four. And there's a very good reason for this name. Check this out. This is my file manager. And this is an IRC client. And this is uh, just URXVT. Um, this is four different containers. Um, maybe we should do this. Uh, I can bring up this guy. Oh, let's make another one. If I type this command, I, in this video, by the way, I will not uh, really explain so much about how this works. I just want to show you what it is. So now we have it. We can uh, do a lol bun here just to be sure. Uh, bud. Hello, I am Bud. We have four containers. These are all, all four of these are tabbed at the moment, but they don't have to be. But my script here, it only allows four containers present at the same time. Or it actually, whatever, whatever. It's four containers, A, B, D, C, A, C, B, D. And you can see it's split here. So B and D, they are like, I, I, uh, during the development, I have called these a family, like the B, D family and the A, C family. They, they, they kind of, it's important. And now we have this terminal here. In, Container A. If I move this container to the right now, you see it moves to B. If I move it down, it moves here. If I move it to the left again, it goes to the C container. Nothing special about this, right? But what happens if I move this to the left? As I said, it's only four containers allowed. This is what happens it hides. The container to the right and if i move it to the left again now it will show the container to the right now i moved it to the left again to hide it if i move this container to the right now check this out now the family the bd family appears here and actually it is renamed so now this is a this is c this is b and this is d and if i move this container up this happens and as you can see, it remembers the split sizes. The i3 doesn't do this. It always splits to 50% when a new container is, is shown. But this, uh, with my script here, it, it remembers the split size. And that's kind of cool. And also, it's tabbed, so I can show like the other windows here. I have my browser here. I have Sublime. And I can even switch tabs with a command. This is also from the script. You can't do this in normal i3. Um, switch tabs like this 
it's the same uh, command as focus which means if i focus here it will just move around and i can focus windows or focus containers without switching tabs in a uh, normal and sober way which you cannot do when you have um, when you have uh, tabbed containers in i3 i fixed that and check this out now i move this uh, container i'm here in nzmp zpp move it up so it takes up the whole space the containers the four containers the a b c d container doesn't have to be tabbed check this out if i uh, do this it's horizontal split ah and cmp cpp is kind of sensitive about the window size so now it uh, exited because i i did this and i can also like this now it's hor this is uh, one container this is just the a container now um, i think i can do and i can still focus normally inside them and i can move containers within uh, a split container now it doesn't like do that weird movement if i'm not at but if i'm at the bottom here then it will do something weird yeah now the split container is here I, do you get it uh, and i could also do this you get it right but let's keep it uh, tab or now it's stacked tab yeah uh, that's pretty much it but there are a lot of of stuff going on here and i will show you in in later videos how to, how to how to achieve this i'm very very happy with the result of this script i have been working on it more or less the whole year now it's in the uh, middle of november i started this in january uh, 2017 and more or less the whole year I, I had a break for some months but then then i just figured out this uh, four four container layout and this means there are no setting up at all you don't need any the the previous versions this is basically number uh, version four of the script here is uh, the script it, it, it it's a bash script so it doesn't have it doesn't have any dependencies at all except the i3 and the awk but you got that and you got bash so you don't need anything and the script doesn't run in the background it's not like a listener or anything so right now the, the this script doesn't consume any and anything at all it isn't running it only ru runs like this uh, with the command command line parameters like kind of like i3 message itself uh, so and it works very 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 well well now when i came up with the idea to to, to force it to have four containers like this everything just fell into place and it's I think it is as fast as it can be uh, uh, with, w when you do it this way with, with a bash script. And it's actually very fast. It's about uh, 50 milliseconds, 50 to 100 milliseconds for the commands, like hiding a, f uh, a family like this. This is maybe 70, 80 milliseconds to do that operation. And there's an, and showing it m even more. But there's a lot of things going on here in these commands and, and this is very fast for scripting but uh, it's slower of course than the normal i3 operations but you these operations you can do them in i3 with i3 just one i3 message you have to chain together a lot of them and this uh, script calculates which uh, messages to to to, to do it it doesn't add anything to the i3 code it just uses the functions the tabbed function and, and the layouts and everything that's already in i3 so it doesn't change anything and, and i3 works every command works just as expected you can use the the, the normal i3 commands but um, i have replaced many of the commands with with the commands for my script here like move moving and, and focusing and and stuff and when I launch a, a program, it automatically launches into the container that I want. And you can also set the here, this line here. It defines the split size 
the starting split size and you define that in pixels like this minus 290 that means 290 from the a b here that's the a b split that that's uh, this the um, uh, i guess this is a horizontal split it's called a b and minus 290 that means 290 pixels from the right side if it uh, would be an, a positive number it would be the split would be here and then bd 290 that means uh, 290 from the i axis downwards negative it would be here and ac it's this split and minus 75 that means somewhere around here so it, and it remembers the split sizes like I can hide this I can show it and it's back and these things I, I don't know if you do, if you haven't used i3 or a tiling window manager maybe this just looks uh, stupid but this is um, this is new functionality that that isn't um, I haven't seen this before but still it's the same function it, it's nothing new it's like tabs and uh, splits and, and whatever and since you can split them or uh, since you can have um, like a, a vertical or horizontal split inside the containers you, you you're not limited to four windows but you're limited to four containers with these splits so it's very flexible it's very dynamic you don't have to set anything up really uh, it automatically splits it and you can move containers inside and out from each other it doesn't mark the windows it just keeps track of the containers and not the windows in themselves they can be anywhere inside the containers or even outside of them you can uh, this 4 a that's automatic layout basically if if it's uh, tiled it will float and if it's floating it will tile itself and it will always it's automatic so it goes into a container if it exists or another existing container or it will create a, a, the a container if it doesn't exist i don't know uh, i'm i'm very very happy with with the results of this um, and and how it works it's it, it, this is how i wanted the tiling window managers to work when i first saw them you know it's you know how it is it when, when you split the window normally or uh, it always splits them 50 percent and you don't have control where the windows appears and sometimes you don't want the new split you want them tabbed and this this is set to tabbed as default and i think it's really cool and i hope you will like it too i will upload the scripts and i will upload more videos and tutorials on my homepage and on youtube on how to set it up and stuff it, it, it it's uh, basic stuff you just need this script the fira script um let's close this you just need this and then there are uh, i have this i3 run it's a script that uh, toggles uh, it's a run and race pro program that's basically needed for this and i also have uh, two helper scripts like i3 get you use that uh, and then you get the ID or you can get other stuff information about i3 but I also made this this uh, thing here this will look weird now but this basic th this command this is why the script is so fast for being a bash script and doing all these things because every time you launch Fira wh which whatever operation you do it always uh, launches this command i3 list and this gives it all the information it needs about the workspace all containers a b c it sees here which containers exists which containers are hidden because when a container isn't visible on the workspace it's on the scratch pad and you can see uh, uh, which uh, container is focused in each uh, or which window is focused and you can see the order which windows is first and last that is kind of important when you are tab switching so it knows when to to go to the first and last tab and whatnot and also when you move the focus from uh, from a window that isn't split vertical or horizontal into a vertical or horizontal like like i'm doing now because 
yeah, whatever. It gets all its all its information from here, and as you can see, 28 milliseconds is what it takes to 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 get all this information, and then it's just some small uh, calculations on which uh, i3 commands to, to launch so it's basically around 50 milliseconds to do the commands and, and that is that is really really fast my friends and uh, you will not notice any any difference i'm very happy with it as i said and i'm very excited to present it to you I might change the name, uh, maybe i3.4, maybe 4, maybe, I, I don't know, we'll see. But this is like an introduction video. There will be more. And uh, I'm sorry I haven't uh, published any videos in a while here. I, I have been recorded a lot about Sublime, how to set up Sublime. I might publish that. I'm not uh, super happy with the result. I think I will re-record them, but it's like uh, four videos uh, or something, maybe five, I don't remember. And I've written a lot of guides about Sublime, but while I was writing them, I <laughs> found out a lot of stuff which made um, the things in the earlier videos look stupid when I learned that you could do it in a better way and well, whatever. It's a learning process for me too. I, I'm, I'm not an expert in this in any way. I, I started using Linux like two, three years ago. and uh, But I, I'm totally... I, I really like it. I wish... I did it so much earlier, but whatever, it's never too late, and every day I learn something new, whatever. Thank you for watching, I see you in the next video, bye bye bye.